Hello, Mastalino students! Welcome to Mastalino Classroom. Ngayong araw, pag-aaralan natin ang divisibility rules ng 3, 6, at 9. Ano nga ba ang mga dapat tandaan para malaman natin na ang numero ay divisible by 3, 6, at 9? Recall that a number is divisible by 2 if it ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. Or in other words, it ends with an even digit. Next, a number is divisible by 5 if it ends with 0 or 5. And lastly, a number is divisible by 10 if it ends with 0. What about the divisibility rule by 3, 6, and 9? We will discover them as we go on with our lesson. We'll start with a simple activity. Multiply the following. Each product has a letter paired to it that you are going to put on the blanks below until a mystery word will be unlocked. You may pause the video to have more time in answering. If you are already done in answering the activity, I'll show now the answers. I know you also got the same answers. With that, we can now unlock our mystery word. What is it? Alright! Our mystery word is disinfect. Well done! The word disinfect means to clean, usually with the use of a chemical. During this pandemic, we can also help stopping the spread of the virus by disinfecting our belongings, other things frequently touched by other people, or even our own hands, most especially if we have touched something that is for public use. It's better to be always safe than to be sick, so kids, you should learn how to properly disinfect. In our previous activity, we have multiplied four numbers with three and get the following products 300 501 810 and 2253 since 3 is one of the factors of these numbers we conclude that they are divisible by 3 it is because multiplication and division are two opposite operations hence we can divide the following products by 3 and get the quotients that are the same with our original numbers without remainder. Now, let's focus on these four numbers that are divisible by 3. We will try to compute the sum of their digits. For the number 300, its digits are 3, 0, and 0. So getting their sum, we have 3 plus 0 plus 0, which is equal to 3. For the number 501, the sum of its digits is 5 plus 0 plus 1, which is equal to 6. Next, for the number 810, we have 8 plus 1 plus 0, which is equal to 9. Lastly, for the number 2253, we have 2 plus 2 plus 5 plus 3 which is equal to 12. Now, I want you to give your observation on the sum of their digits. What have you noticed? Very good! Each sum of the digits can be divided by 3 or is divisible by 3. So, our conclusion would be a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. Ibig sabihin, para malaman natin na ang number ay divisible by 3, i-add lang natin ang kanyang digits at kapag ang nakuha nating total ay divisible by 3, masasabi natin na ang mismong number ay divisible din by 3. For instance, Put a check if a number is divisible by 3. For number 1, 
the sum of its digits is equal to 12. And since 12 is divisible by 3, we say that 2307 is also divisible by 3. For number 2, the sum of its digits is equal to 13. And since 13 is not divisible by 3, we say that 3145 is also not divisible by 3. For number 3, the sum of its digits is equal to 8. And since 8 is again not divisible by 3, we say that 10,421 is not divisible by 3. For number 4, the sum of its digits is equal to 18. And we know that 18 is divisible by 3. So, we say that 12,429 is also divisible by 3. And lastly, for number 5, the sum of its digits is equal to 21. And again, we know 21 is divisible by 3. So, we say that 27,354 is also divisible by 3. Alright! Going back in our previous activity, we have also multiplied 5 numbers with 9 and get the following products. 108, 441, 594, 639, and 2,889. Since 9 is one of their factors, we conclude that they are also divisible by 9. It is because we can divide these products by 9 and get the quotients that are the same with our original numbers without remainder. Let us focus on these 5 numbers that are divisible by 9. Again, we will compute the sum of their digits. For the number 108, its digits are 1, 0, and 8. So, getting their sum, we have 1 plus 0 plus 8, which is equal to 9. For the number 441, the sum of its digits is 4 plus 4 plus 1, which is equal to 9. Next, the number 594, we have 5 plus 9 plus 4, which is equal to 18. For the number 639, we have 6 plus 3 plus 9, which is equal to 18. And lastly, for the number 2889, we have 2 plus 8 plus 8 plus 9, which is equal to 27. What have you noticed on each of the sums of their digits? Very good! Each sum of the digits can be divided by 9 or is divisible by 9. So, our conclusion would be, a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. Ibig sabihin, Pwede nating i-add ang digits ng isang given number at kapag ang nakuha nating sum ay divisible by 9, masasabi natin na ang given number ay divisible din by 9. For instance, put a check if a number is divisible by 9. For number 1, the sum of its digits is equal to 16. And since 16 is not divisible by 9, we say that 4,129 is also not divisible by 9. For number 2, the sum of its digits is equal to 18. And since 18 is divisible by 9, we say that 5,067 is also divisible by 9. For number 3, the sum of its digits is equal to 9. And obviously, 9 is divisible by 9. So we say that 10,332 is also divisible by 9. 
for number 4, the sum of its digits is equal to 14. And we know 14 is not divisible by 9. So, we say that 13,172 is also not divisible by 9. And for number 5, the sum of its digits is equal to 27. And we know 27 is divisible by 9. So, we say that 58,518 is also divisible by 9. Now, what about the divisibility rule for 6? What we just know is that 6 is equal to 2 times 3. Does it mean that when a number is divisible by 6, it must also be divisible by 2 and 3? We will explore on this. Multiply the following numbers by 6. Pause the video if you wish to have more time in answering. Alright, the answers to these multiplication problems are 138, 306, 1200, and 1374. Since 6 is one of the factors of these numbers, we say that they are also divisible by 6. Now, let us verify what was said a while ago that if a number is divisible by 6, it must also be divisible by 2 and 3. For the number 138, its last digit is 8, so it is divisible by 2. Getting the sum of the digits, we have 1 plus 3 plus 8 equals 12. And since 12 is divisible by 3, the given number is also divisible by 3. For the number 306, it ends with the digit 6. So, it is divisible by 2. The sum of its digits is 3 plus 0 plus 6 equals 9. And we know that 9 is divisible by 3. So, the given number is also divisible by 3. For the number 1200, its last digit is 0. So, it is divisible by 2. The sum of its digits is 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 equals 3. And obviously, 3 is divisible by 3. So, the given number is also divisible by 3. And for the number 1374, its last digit is 4. So, it's divisible by 2. The sum of its digit is 1 plus 3 plus 7 plus 4 equals 15. And we know 15 is divisible by 3. So, the given number is also divisible by 3. As we can see, the numbers that are divisible by 6 are also divisible by 2 and 3. So, our conclusion would be a number is divisible by 6 if it is divisible by both 2 and 3. Ibig sabihin, dapat ang number ay parehong divisible by 2 at 3 para masabi na ito ay divisible by 6. Kung hindi siya divisible by either 2 or 3, masasabi natin na hindi siya divisible by 6. For instance, put a check if a number is divisible by 6. For number 1, ang last digit ay even number which is 8. So, it is divisible by 2. At ang sum ng kanyang digits ay 12. So, it is also divisible by 3. Because the given number is divisible by both 2 and 3, therefore, we say that 1,218 is divisible by 6. For number 2, ang last digit ng given number ay 7. So, it is not divisible by 2. Since hindi na siya divisible by 2, no need to check or to test if ito ay divisible by 3. We can already tell that the number is not divisible by 6. For number 3, ang last digit na given number ay 0. So, 
it is divisible by 2. At ang sum ng kanyang digits ay 9, so it is divisible by 3. We conclude that the given number is divisible by 6. For number 4, ang last digit ng given number ay 6. So, it is divisible by 2. Ngunit, ang sum ng kanyang digits ay 16. Which means, ang given number ay hindi divisible by 3. So, we conclude that the given number is not divisible by 6. For number 5, ang last digit ng given number is 8. So, it is divisible by 2. At ang sum ng kanyang digits ay 27. So, it is also divisible by 3. We conclude that the given number is divisible by 6. Let's have more practice on this. Put a check mark to the corresponding box if a number given is divisible by 3, 6, or 9. You may check more than one box or leave them unchecked. You can pause the video if you wish to have more time in answering. Now, let us discuss the answers. For number 1, ang sum ng kanyang digits ay 15. So, divisible siya by 3. But not by 6 kasi ang last digit ay 7. Which means, hindi siya divisible by 2. At hindi din siya divisible by 9 kasi ang sum of digits na 15 ay hindi divisible by 9. Hence, we only check the box for 3. For number 2, ang sum ng kanyang digits ay 9. So, divisible siya by 3. At of course, divisible siya by 9. But, not by 6 kasi ang last digit ay 1 which means hindi siya divisible by 2. Hence, we only check the boxes for 3 and 9. For number 3, ang sum ng kanyang digits ay 6. So, divisible siya by 3 as well as 6 kasi ang last digit ay 0 which means siya ay divisible by 2. Ngunit, hindi siya divisible by 9 kasi ang sum of digits na 6 ay hindi divisible by 9. Hence, we only check the boxes for 3 and 6. For number 4, ang sum ng kanyang digits ay 9. So, siya ay divisible by 3. And since ang last digit ay 2, which means siya ay divisible by 2, it is also divisible by 6. At divisible din siya by 9 kasi ang sum of digits na 9 ay obviously divisible by 9. Hence, we check the boxes for 3, 6, and 9. Lastly, for number 5, ang sum ng kanyang digits ay 17. Obviously, hindi siya divisible by 3. At of course, hindi din siya divisible by 9. At since hindi siya divisible by 3, hindi din siya divisible by 6. Hence, we leave the boxes unchecked. Do you have any questions about our lesson? If none, test yourself by answering the following. You may pause the video for a while to answer and comment down your answers when you are done. That's all for today class. Goodbye!